Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about six money habits that kept me broke. Let's get right into it. And the scary thing is, is some of these habits, and I'm going to share which ones, were ones that I've actually had within the last three years. While I still had the YouTube channel, Sensible Living with Money Mom. I know that's kind of scary, but let me get into it. The first one, and I think this is a little bit to do with the last three years, is my mindset. I thought I was doing the best I could. If we think, well, we're doing the best we can, and I've heard people say this, oh, I can't do any better, I can't make any more money than I, I can, or I can't cut back anymore. I really believe this with all my heart. I say it all the time, and it's going to be kind of my tag. We can always find a way to save money. We can always find a way to make money. And I'm going to say that is in 99% of cases, there may be a few exceptions. I understand that. But my mindset was keeping me broke because I didn't have a growth mindset. I had a closed mindset, and I thought I couldn't do any better than what I was, and that kept me broke. Number two, spending more as I earn more. In other words, death by a thousand cuts, and they call that the lifestyle creep. That was probably one of the worst things that kept me broke because I listen to other people. Well, Dawn, you really don't make that much money. Dawn, you make less than the average income in the area. Doesn't matter. I could have done better. And it's amazing how much m little we could live off if we really put our mind to it. Now, I do understand that housing is a big part of that. And sometimes, you know, other types of things can really infringe on that taxes. And I know not everybody has the same opportunities and choices, and I am aware. But I do believe most people can improve their situation. Number three, and this is a big one. This video is actually kind of embarrassing to do, but hey, you guys know I'm vulnerable not planning for my future and really thinking well I just don't make enough to plan for my future that didn't even include short-term savings I used to not save any money at least I did that but I'm talking you know I think I act like I'm invincible and I'm gonna live forever and always have the same great health I have now and not plan for future I have one friend of mine a long time ago and she said it's the best financial decision she ever made she got long-term um, health insurance or care insurance which she is so grateful she had because it's now helping take care of her husband who has some health issues which is a blessing and they are older folks not everyone has that happen but you know what uh, not planning for the future has kind of come back to bite me or could in the future because I didn't plan everything okay number four this is a biggie obligations and following the crowd and just trying to fit in and do what everybody else does to be able to fit in. That means keep up with the gift giving, you know, keep up with purchasing things, you know, going out, doing things that I had no business doing and instead I could have been saving and I could have set myself up on a stricter budget where I did enjoy some things. For example, and I know I've already mentioned this, all the subscription services and all the auto ships and things like that. Those were the things that can really add up. So obligations and feeling like I needed to say yes to people rather than no thank you. Number five, and this one was years ago, but using charge cards instead of money. Now, I didn't do this the last several years, but I did in my 20s, the early 20s. But then I put a kibosh to that, paid them off, and had not been in consumer debt with charge cards since then. Number six, not paying attention to the little things that add up. You know, like I said, oh, this is only a dollar. I used to have that attitude. Well, if you're not getting value from it, like that pair of scissors, and I should have put that in my worst money ever spent, by the way. Um, not, you know, when you are spending money on something that only costs a dollar, but you're not getting value, or you're spending money on some, a food item that is cheaper or generic, but nobody eats it, you know, that's not really good money spent. These are some of the things. Now, some of the things I have to say, which have, have affected me the last, since I've been on the channel. Number one, mindset, which I am working on changing. I do have more of a growth mindset than a fixed mindset. Uh, number two, lifestyle creep. That affected me over since this. Number three, not planning as much for the future. Uh, four, obligations. Gosh, it looks like all these. Number five, charge cards. That has not affected me. And it's number six. So out of all six of these, the only one that hasn't had an effect on me was over the last three years is the charge cards. The rest have. But the good news is I'm improving on all those others, which is really positive. And I keep developing more frugal habits. I want to ask you guys, tell me some ways you used to spend money or not plan 
that you've changed even in the last five years? What have you done to improve your financial well-being in the last five years? That's my question for you guys, if any of you feel comfortable answering that. That's all for now. This is Money Mom signing off. And as always, I love you. Bye-bye.